oh my god it's been so long like i don't even know how to act but welcome back let's take one big deep breath before we start this vlog comeback video update video whatever you want to call it because i feel like we might need it we've got a lot to discuss i've got a lot of things to show you so get ready always forget how good that feels this is going to be an update video how i feel after my five week vacation it is also going to be an unboxing i received a shit lot of packages while i was gone which i'm so grateful for and i also have a big naked haul that i want to show you including a discount code but before we start doing all of those things i have something to show you so like two months ago, I showed you this footage of me being super excited because my management had very good news for me. Well, if you follow me on Instagram, you probably have already seen this, but I still deserve a big announcement on YouTube as well. So here I am telling you that I am on the cover of one of the biggest magazines in the Netherlands, Linda Meide. I have been manifesting this with the energy of love and the energy of gratefulness. I definitely surrendered to this manifestation and then the opportunity just fell on my lap, literally. I did not have to do any effort. So I was asked to do a shoot for the Linda Meide Zomerboek. So it's their summer book. It's the perfect magazine to take with you on vacation because it's a lot thicker than the usual Linda Maida and it just has a lot of juicy topics that are fun to read on vacation in the sun while you're living your best life. So I was asked to do a shoot for their summer book. It would get 18 pages in the magazine, so it would probably be the biggest issue. And you guys have seen me shooting for it. I vlogged the whole thing and I already told you there were some struggles and it wasn't the best weekend for me because I felt... I would not say I was bullied, but there was a lot of tension. It was still a very fun weekend thanks to the team. And thanks to the other girl I already knew, Noor. She really hyped me up the whole freaking day. So I'm very grateful for that. I did took a few minutes to sit while we were shooting and visualize myself being undercover, telling the universe that I am so grateful for where I am at right now. And I also scripted it, I think a few weeks before the shoot, not with the intention to get a cover photo while doing the summer book campaign shoot, but I got a call like one week before my vacation that they really, really liked my picture for the cover of this summer book. So I was so thrilled and I remember reading that text from my management saying I have huge news for you. And like I already knew, I, I already knew, I said to myself, this, this must be the cover. I manifested it, I can feel it, I deserve it. And I remember hearing the news and I was literally shaking in the car because I was so happy. I am not going to lie to you. You guys know that I like to be very transparent and in some cases I cannot tell you the whole story because obviously there are other people involved. But let me just tell you that some girls have really made it hard for me to enjoy this cover. They definitely weren't happy with the team picking my picture for the cover and I heard all the gossip about that while I was on vacation so the first weeks of me knowing that I would be on the cover I obviously had to keep it a secret and the only experiences that I had with this cover were the shoot and those girls gossiping about me so I just felt a really negative vibe around this cover and I was kind of sad about it because it's my first cover and like that's huge it should be a very fun experience so the day this book finally got released and i could finally tell the world that i am a cover 
girl. I received so many loving messages and just a lot of support from people I know but also from a lot of people I don't know so I now look at it and think you know what fuck them for spreading rumors about me. Fuck them for wanting to ruin my shoot weekend. I made it to the cover and I'm I am so proud. I just know that if I would get this cover like three years ago, I would be so unhappy because this is my bad side. My arms look a little bit thicker than they actually are. So it's so refreshing that I can look at this picture right now and like genuinely feel very proud of myself. And I absolutely love this picture. <laughs> I love it! Like the underboob, the bikini, the smile, the hairstyle, the overall pose. I absolutely love it and the fact that I know that my younger self would have disliked this because of my insecurities just brightens up my day because that means I overcome those insecurities and I'm just so happy. And we obviously still got the shoot. So there are still a lot of pages in this book filled with my face and at one point at the shoot day i was feeling so miserable and i felt so bullied that i had to cry like really hard and at first i thought that was very unprofessional until i realized i am not the one who is being unprofessional here i just have to express my emotions before i bottle them up and damage myself so i i had to cry I immediately felt better after, but <laughs> we also immediately took pictures after. So this is my least favorite picture because I can see that I was hurt and I can see that I just cried. Nora looks fucking amazing though. I still look amazing, but you get the point. I just have a memory behind the picture. But this is one of my favorite pictures. I love the Versace glasses. Also one of my favorites. And this is the whole interview. So if you live in Holland, please run to the store and buy yourself this summer book. Go read my interview and have a look at my butt. <laughs> I absolutely adore this picture. It was so cold, but as you can see, we totally nailed it to not make it look that we were cold. I also really like this picture because we all look so happy. And obviously my all-time favorite picture, the cover. The magazine came out while I was on vacation. So Felix bought a few copies. He bought six. Not sure where the other three are. But I still want to go to the store and have my little moment of seeing myself in the store. I just want to remind y'all that your manifestation could be on the way without you even knowing it. I have a little video of the behind the scenes of the actual cover photo. Noor filmed it for me. I was supposed to change my outfit, but they called me back and said, you know what, just stand here for a few minutes, hold this jukebox and just smile to the camera. So we, we basically shot this picture in, I think, three minutes. And just me looking back at that video feels so... It just feels surreal because it's the perfect example of the statement your manifestation could be on the way without you knowing it. Because while I was living in that moment of the video, my manifestation already came true. I just had no idea. I just want to remind you that you can do whatever the fuck you want in this life. A lot of people thought I was crazy when I said I wanted to make a living out of being a content creator and a YouTuber and look at me now. Being on the cover, getting that coin, living my best life. Go after your dreams and do not lower your vibration to match with the haters that come on your path because they will definitely try to knock you down. But you know what? You're better than that. If you choose to live with love every single day, then it's not even hard to block the haters out. I know that I cried on the shoot day, but I have grown so much since that weekend. There were a lot of situations I was put in to test if I changed and if my mindset changed and if there was another way that I could handle with hate and gossiping and 
just other low vibrational situations and guess what every time i was put in a situation like that i just knew i had grown so much because i handled the situation so differently than a few weeks or months before yes i'm very proud of myself i am super happy and again don't forget to get yourself a copy i know there is so much more i want to achieve in this life and i want to experience in this life so I just know that this is the start of way more. I feel so inspired and so in the right place. It really feels like I am exactly where I need to be. And I think that is a great follow up for the next subject, which is my vacation. I've obviously been away for five weeks and oh, you guys, I have had the best time of my life. It really was one of the best vacations I have ever had. And I really told myself to live in the moment on this trip. Just let it all come to me and not expect anything from it. And I usually have a really stupid feeling on vacation. I always feel the need to stay longer because I am almost going home. So if I would stay 11 days after the first day, I would say to myself, Oh my God, I have 10 days left. Oh no, oh no. And that's because I always lived in the future with my mind. I had a really hard time enjoying the present moment. So being on this trip and realizing I had no idea which day it is, I was not counting the days, I was just really enjoying the present moment. It, it was so refreshing. I actually enjoyed my vacation because of that mindset and because of not worrying about how many days there are left. It was such another way of experiencing vacation. I, I really felt at peace. I think that is why I cried a lot. <laughs> like there were so many moments I felt absolutely at peace with life and with myself. I just felt so grateful for all the beautiful things I saw. It just really felt as if I made a shift in my mindset of how I look at the world, how I look at myself. I realize I'm at a very good place and I have everything my heart desires. I am so grateful for everything I am experiencing right now because I know I, I am not lucky that I am living this life. I have built this life. There was this one point that I made the choice to choose happiness for myself every single day instead of pleasing other people and that has been the best decision of my life to do that every single day and i truly feel like i am getting closer and closer to my authentic self it has also been a blast to be on vacation with friends i have already told you in my travel vlogs that i do not have really good experiences with going on vacation with friends so i always felt like i had to shrink in myself to make sure the other one was having a good time and I was so used to that that I accepted that situation and I thought it was normal but I now know that it is definitely possible to feel a hundred percent happy when you're on vacation with friends and to feel loved and accepted and heard and oh, I just I am so grateful for this trip because I have learned so much about myself and about the persons I was with and it was so much fun and I am already planning my next trip because I am sick of the summer of Holland don't get me wrong there were periods of time when I was younger that I could get very depressed of bad weather so a rainy day could get me really fucked up i do not experience that anymore like i can really appreciate a rainy or cloudy or gloomy day but you guys it is june almost july where is the sun gloomy days are beautiful but not for summer Let's keep those in fall or winter. I've been home for four days now and I usually immediately unpack my suitcase, but I was so tired. I was also on my period. So I am going to unpack my suitcase after I unboxed everything for you guys. I think that would make me feel a lot less chaotic because I still feel all over the place. Probably because my stuff is all over the place. Okay, with that being said, let's finally do the unboxing because it's quite a lot. And if you were sick of me talking a lot, well then get prepared because I'm going to talk a lot more. 
So let's just get this first pile of boxes. I received this package from Moidy Agency. It's from Sebastian. It's a bonding and styling spray and a scrunchie. Then I have another package from them to introduce me to the newest product of Marianilla. It's their shimmer spray. And as some of you guys already know, I love Marianilla. This brand is completely vegan, cruelty-free, and very sustainable. And they say that this spray will help you to get very shiny hair, so I'm very curious. And we have another package from Marianilla. I received a bag like this before. That was the True Soft bag. Now I have the Volume bag. So it has shampoo and conditioner to create volume in a normal size and travel size. Then I received a lot of Charlotte Tilbury products from Spice Bay Air. And it's all about their airbrush collection, which I adore. Their airbrush foundation is definitely my favorite foundation. So I received another one of these. These are not my shade right now because I got so tan. But they also gave me their powder, their setting spray, which is bomb. Whoa. I like that. A very big bronzer, which is not a bronzer for me at this point. <laughs> and another brush. Thank you so, so much. Mason Bay Air sent me some products from Huda Beauty. So I received a bronzing powder. It looks like this. Wow. And then we have a dewy skin tint, which I think is my shade. Time for the second pile. I received some items from Urban Decay. We have two palettes. Oh, cute. This is the first one and the second one. Beautiful colors. Thank you so much, Urban Decay. Then there's this box from Sunday Riley and it's a lot. They gave me their cleanser, a treatment, face oil, sleeping night oil, and brightening cream. The packaging feels so nice. It feels so expensive and it's glass instead of plastic. I like that. So thank you so much Sunday Riley. Then we have a package which I bought myself. It's a package from Tony Bianco. I hate wearing heels. I can definitely walk in heels without looking like a giraffe, but I just don't like it. <laughs> it's so uncomfortable, but I do like to look a little bit taller. And heels or platforms just usually make me feel like that bad bitch I am. So I thought, why not treat myself on some new wedges? They are so cute. Very comfortable. I already tried them on. Very happy with these. I received two very cute boots from La Moda. Let me start with the basic one. It's this badass boot with a very high heel, but it also has a big platform, so you don't really feel how high the heel is. They look so red, don't they? And then my next pair is the exact same model, but... How cute! This just screams festival to me. And the good thing is, I do not enjoy a full day at a festival anymore. Maybe I do now after Corona, but I just think it's too intense and just too much. So I like to go with Felix whenever he has a gig and just stay for two hours or so. And then I can definitely wear these boots because I would not wear these to a festival if I would stay there for eight hours, but two hours, fine, totally fine. Let me grab another pile. I also spoiled myself with a new bag from the vintage bar. So now I am the proud owner of a vintage Bottega and she's actually in the other room, so. You will probably see her in my upcoming vlogs. But I was just really looking for a beige bag and couldn't find it anywhere until I saw this beauty. So I just had to order her. This is another package that I bought myself. I receive so many stuff that I hardly buy myself clothes like ever. It may look like I buy a lot of things, but I really don't. Whenever I buy something, I try to make sure it's sustainable and something I would like to wear for a longer period of time instead of one time and then 
throw it away. So a brand I adore is Jerf Avenue. They care so much about the quality of their items and they always make sure to use labels or materials that are very sustainable. So I bought their mini top. I just think this is the perfect summer top with the cute halter neck and the open back. I also have the matching trousers for this blouse. This is also from Jerf Avenue. It is made from a toweling material. And I already have this set in black. It is not sheer black because it has kind of a shimmer. So I just had to get it in this material and this color as well. So I didn't wear a lot of makeup on my vacation. Most days I did not wear anything at all and some days I felt like doing some blush, highlighter and my brows and that was it. But while applying my blush and my highlighter, I was like, mm, I need some new brushes, man. I have been using these brushes for about six years now. So I promised myself that once I got back, I would buy myself some new brushes. And look what came in the mail. I received the brush collection from Morphe and Ariel. So we have the eyeshadow kit and the whole face kit. Did I actually manifest these brushes without knowing it? I just think it's so funny because I never received brushes as a gift and now I did. Not only did I receive those, I also received another package with even more brushes. <laughs> So I think I'm good for now. Thank you so much. That saves me some points. The next package is from Four. It's a tracksuit with a sweater and a short in this super cute blue color. I also received a package from Motel Rocks and I'm not going to show you all the items because I think I might make a TikTok of it. So make sure to follow me on there because I will start uploading every day again very, very soon. I received the cutest phone case from Shop Atelier. The ones that have been following me for a while know that these are my favorite phone cases because they have the cutest cords. So I received a fresh new case with a long pearl cord, the short rainbow cord. So it has pearls and this cute rainbow colors. And they also gave me their long candy cord. How adorable is this? So thank you so much Shop Atelier. I cannot wait to put my phone in it. And last but definitely not least, I received the cutest ear party from Elena Rusina. So we have these, absolutely stunning. Then we have these cuties with the flowers, these gorgeous hoops, some simple hoops, these super cute green studs, and these are slightly smaller than the other flowers. So cute. I'm not a big fan of changing my ear party every day. I sleep with these. <laughs> I shower with these and just once in a while I get tired of my ear party and then I completely change the set. So currently I'm wearing these. All these earrings are from this brand. And I'm not sick of this set yet so I will wait until I'll be wearing all of these. So I showed you all the packages I received and now it's time for a naked haul. I got a big bag of clothing so let's just hop into it. So, I moved to the ground because I needed some space for all these clothing. It's a whole pile. So let's just grab the first item on the pile. First off, we have this beautiful body, which doesn't look that beautiful in my hands, but I'm sure it will look beautiful when it's on. <laughs> you know what? I think I'm gonna just wear it because it's hard to present you something that looks like a piece of fabric instead of a piece of clothing. So this is the body and I have to admit, I got a little bit too greedy while placing this order because I saw this bodysuit and I just had to have it, but it's too big for me. I got it in a size S and as you can see, it's just too big for me. <sighs> the color is so pretty, especially with this tan I have right now. The front is basic, which I love, nothing too fancy. Then when you turn around, you have this gorgeous 
or just cut out. You can also see some of the details on this side. So I adore this bodysuit, but I can't wear it. And this is all my own fault. I know I'm a size XS. Sometimes I'm even a XXS with naked items. So this is all my own fault. I also have it in the color white, but I don't need to try it on because we all know that it's gonna be too big for me. I really love the fabric of the body because it's not see-through as you can see. So the quality is definitely amazing. It's from the Josephine Naked Collection. I absolutely love Josephine. So I already knew her pieces from the collection were going to be fire. I also have a dress from her collection, also in a size S, but I think I will fit this one. It has this gorgeous cutout on the back as well. She played a lot with cutouts in her collection. I believe all her items are from the Reborn collection and are sustainable. So that's a big plus. So let's see how this one looks on me. Fingers crossed. <laughs> so this one is actually super cute. As you can see, the sleeves are way too long for me, but I guess that was the vibe. This is the gorgeous back. As you can see, it has the perfect length. I think it should have been a little bit shorter on me, but as I already told you, I picked this one a size too big as well. So it's a little bit big on the shoulders and obviously on the sleeves, but that was the vibe. But I adore the overall look. This material is very thick as well. As you can see, it's not see-through. I'm not wearing anything underneath. Yes, I'm doing this without underwear. It looks so gorgeous. Cannot wait to wear this out. I have another dress in this beautiful beige color. I picked it in a size XS, so I'm sure this one will fit me like a glove. It has a pretty halter neck, so let me show it to you. Those were all the dresses I wanted to show you. On to trousers. I have two trousers and two jeans. So let's start with the trousers. I have this gorgeous white one with these folded ends. These are from the Hana Naked Collection. I couldn't pick a color, so I got the exact same ones in blue. And of course, we need to pair them with a top. So let me show it to you with this gorgeous greenish sage shirt. I am in love with this top. My boobs look phenomenal in <laughs> this shirt. And these sleeves are the perfect length for me because sleeves like this makes my arms look bigger. So this is just perfect. And the trousers. Can we take a moment for the trousers? Because they fit perfectly around my waist, as you can see. They are a little bit too long, but I already expected that because I am super tiny. The material is a lot thicker than the trousers they usually have, so I love that. I think these are my new favorite white trousers. So let's see how the blue ones look. How adorable is this stuff? This band is not adjustable, but it has the perfect length for me. It doesn't hurt in my neck because the material is very soft. I tucked it in just a little because normally it is this long. So I like to just tuck it in. Then you have a cute little mini top. I did not know that I was such a huge fan of this blue. So let's move on to the two jeans. I chose a white pair of jeans with cuts on the knees. And then I also have these super fun zebra print jeans. And then last but not least, I also have this blouse. Probably should have ironed it, but I think I'm gonna wear it as a wrap top. Let's first put on these pair of jeans with this top. So now it's time for my last outfit. Mm -hmm. 
These jeans are so cute. I picked them in a size 36 because I wanted them to be a little bit more slouchy, a little bit more loose. And I love the fit of these. As you can see, they are, again, a little bit too long for me, but that's fine. So I am ending my haul with this look. I promised you a discount code, so definitely use this one at your order. It will give you 20% off. And if there is anything you liked from what I have shown you, then definitely check the description box because it has all the links of the items I just showed you. And it also has a link which will direct you to their homepage so you can see all the items. I hope you enjoyed this haul and happy shopping. So with that being said, this is the end of this video. I hope you are completely up to date now. There will be one more travel vlog which will go live next week and after that my normal videos will start again. So I am looking forward to start vlogging again and take you with me on this exciting life I have. Thank you so much for watching.